Well, hello America, how are we doing today? We are out here at the shop and walking around and showing different things. Now, um, oh, that is terrible lighting, isn't it? <laughs> um, got the solar done, got the solar inside done, got all that stuff done. Um, still got to do the brackets and all that. Um, what was that? Oh, we're gonna talk about interior, floor plan and stuff. Now, now that I got that done, I'm, I went home and got on Google SketchUp and I started doing a little bit of this uh, 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 CAD, CAD rendering, drawing stuff, you know. And uh, I come up with some different ideas. And this, this is some of the stuff that I had planned. Now, here I've got my uh, laptop out here. Oh, that's bad lighting. Here we go. Let's go over here. All right, so I've got this, uh, my laptop out here so I can show you this stuff. Now, what I've got going on here is, let me just click on here and start recording okay so we got the um, uh, drawing up here and what i wanted to show you here's a rough idea of what this i first come up with this trailer okay here's the back door swings open that way i didn't put the door on here here's the side door this is roughly i don't know if this is exact measurements i, I it's close enough because this Curvature is a little hard. I'm not really good at this. So I didn't get the curvature quite right on the front here But just bear with me on that, but it's roughly 20 foot by 8 foot or 8 and a half foot or whatever And this was the idea I had okay uh, on the back open the door back uh, door up and well get back here Open the back door up and you'd have like a garage area back here And this would be where the batteries are ended up I put the batteries along the wall here and this would be your all the different machinery for the solar panels, okay? But anyway, um, this wall would come all the way across, and this would be where you keep bicycle, generator, garden hose, you know, lawn chairs, stuff like this, okay? And then on the inside, I'd put a bed across here, and then a kitchen counter all the way across here, and pick a place here. I didn't put it in here, but pick a place in this area, put a, put a sink somewhere along in here, a sink and a stove, or a sink and a, a, a couple outlets up here, so I could use a, uh, uh, induction stove to cook on put the TV up against the wall here maybe put a chair about right in here um, what's this round thing over here this oval looking thing I'll get to that in a second um, and then over here you know your refrigerator maybe a, a cabinet up here possibly a microwave someday if I wanted to and another little counter and I didn't put the hole in here but this will be hollow underneath and that'd be like a desk a work desk and put a little window right in here okay and I can you know do my editing and stuff like that sitting at this desk. This would be like an office desk or whatever. And then over here, right in, in this area, put some kind of a lounge chair, a, 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 maybe not a lazy boy, like a European recliner, something like that. All right, so that was the basic idea. And then somewhere along here, put one, two, three windows maybe, a, a window back here and two windows up here, one over in front of the desk area and maybe one in the corner right here because if you've got your chair sitting right here, wouldn't it be nice to have a window to look out? So that's, some of the ideas I had, all right? <clears throat> now, um, I thought, why well, have just one floor plan? Let's try other things. So I went over and I got different floor plans. Uh, open, doop, 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 doop. And this is one I came up with, okay? Same kind of, uh, same kind of deal. Uh, closet in the back and everything. I'll explain what that box is. And, this window, you know, what ideas I had. Okay, remember that oval thing right there that was in the other one? Okay, I moved it over here. And it's maybe not quite to, to perfect size and everything, but an idea. That's your shower, okay? There's your kitchen. There's the desk to work in. Here's a chair. You know, just a real simple, you know, recliner type chair. Okay. Make that a chair that I could slide up here and then use that as a table for working, uh, you know, a desk or whatever. And I'd have kitchen counter here and kitchen counter over here and refrigerator right along in here. And because the, the thing is so much wider than the bed, the bed is, I can put shelves right in here, okay? Um, just a place to store books or whatever, okay? All right, what is this gizmo right here? Well, that is a window refrigerator or air conditioner. All right, well, it, all that heat would be blocked in here. Okay, well, when I use it, I just take the door, instead of folding the door all the way down, you know, and then the, the door would be down here like a ramp, okay? 
fold that door up, just open it up about a foot. And there's a way I can open that up and then relatch and lock it. And it'll, it'll have a big gap and let air so circulate, and let all that hot air outside. Okay, that's an idea I got. And then of course, oh, I didn't mention on the other one, but all this is upper cabinetry where you put dishes and groceries and stuff like that. Okay, so that's a no, uh, render number two. Okay, so that was an idea. Well, then I got to thinking, you know, when we was out there at Quartzsite with Tom and all them and, and Pat and, and different people, they, they had side-by-sides and stuff like that. I always liked bikes, motorcycles. So I got to thinking, let me rearrange this a different way. Let's find the other one right here. All right. Do, do, do. Click. Make this, instead of that wall coming straight across, to make it uh, like an L shape, okay? And what you do is that solar stuff, all that solar stuff will be on the wall here and the batteries will be crossed here. And then you can put generators in your lawn chairs and you know, whatever. You can store stuff along this wall up on the top, you know, just like in your garage. And then right here, from here forward to about, oh, I don't know, six, seven feet, whatever, whatever you need for a motorcycle. A motorcycle or maybe an electric bicycle or something like that. And I'd, I'd have a roll in, you know, I could put a motorcycle sideways across here, but you got to put it in and then you got to lift that back tire around. And the motorcycle, dirt bikes and stuff like that are heavy. They're hard to move that back tire, especially the bigger ones that I would fit on. You know, a little small dirt bike, yeah. But a bigger dirt bike, it'd be a pain in the butt. So I thought, well, just notch this out and ride the motorcycle straight in a long ways. And then put one of those little tire racks up here. I've got one over there somewhere, uh, the tire rack, and then put you know, tie down points, all, you know, four different tie down points and all that. And I don't know, somebody's probably going to point out I didn't leave room for the uh, fender wells. Well, I didn't bother putting them. I know, I know they're there, but everything I put in, I can build around those fender wells. Okay, then because you can't put the bed long ways here or sideways across here, let's put it long ways. Put the pillow up here, your feet down here, and then this would be kitchen counter. There's the shower tub again. Okay, and I'll get to that in a little bit here. And then there's a recliner, and then there's your TV, and then on the other, oh, get back here. On the other side, there's your desk. Now that, that'll be hollow. Well, I could put drawers under it, or I could hollow that out so you can, you know, put your legs up underneath there and make a desk to work with. And then here I put this, and I actually put windows in this one. So I put like three windows above the windshield or the the windshield, the uh, kitchen sink. One right here, so when I'm sitting in that chair watching TV, there's a window I can look out. And then another one right here, so if I'm working, I can look out that one. Anyway, I've ordered five windows. They're little 14 by 21 inch windows. And I'll get to that. The reason I got such a small window is because the ribs in here are 16 inches apart, okay? So I can put a 14 inch window in between each rib and make like a three gang window right here. Okay, and they're neat little windows. I'll show them to you later. But anyway, refrigerator goes over there, kind of like the other one. So there's an idea right there. That's another, uh, another possibility, okay? Anyway, I think I'm going to go with this one, okay? Depending on what kind of motorcycle or uh, electric bike or whatever that I buy, it will go in here somewhere. And even if I don't ever buy a bike or put it in here, I've got more garage storage space. All right, now somebody's going to say, well, where are you going to put things like water? Where's the water tanks? Well, they're going to go under the bed. I ordered two, <laughs> get this, I ordered two 75 gallon water tanks that go underneath the bed. And I got the dimensions, they're like 50 inches long, 17 and a half wide, 19 inches tall, and I can put them in right, I've measured it out to where they'll go underneath the bed side by side with a little bit of area right here to work, you know, put the, uh, all the, the water pump and all the different things like that. And to make this bed, <clears throat> now, I'm not gonna make a Murphy bed out of it, I don't think. I think what I'll do is just put the water tanks under there. Well, why did I put all that right there? Well, if you look at it, all that weight, the refrigerator, the mic, the, the refrigerator, the bike, the water, the, 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 the electrical batteries, all that weight is back here on the axles, tw double, you know, twin axles, 7,800 pound axles back here, okay? Very little weight on the front, therefore, very little tongue weight, okay? Uh, that, ra that Raptor's got a big ass motor in it, but it's still a half ton pickup and I don't want to really have a real heavy tongue. I would, I'd rather have all the weight back here on the t axles where, the, where it belongs. 
So <clears throat> now I got let's go smooth back in here the air conditioner. Now why I got an air conditioner on the inside? Like I said, I can open this door and let air will vent out through the the sides right over here and over here because that door will be you know up here and then open. There'll be a long slope so uh, triangular opening on each side. Okay, basically crack the door open about a foot. Okay, all right, so that's the idea. The idea is another thing is don't use this air conditioner hardly at all. Try to travel where the weather's nice. The air conditioner really won't be so much for cooling the air as it will be for dehumidifying the air. Okay, take the humidity out of the air and you're actually pretty comfortable. So that's the idea there. All right, <clears throat> now let's get over to the, 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 the shower stall. Now, this shower stall and the other one, the other previous ones, what that is, is a water trough. You can buy down a tractor supply for, you know, a horse, you know, water trough for horses or cattle or whatever. And I can put a, a table on the top of it. So when I'm sitting here, that becomes like an end table. Okay. And put the TV over here. So I'm sitting here watching TV. Okay. Another idea is don't put a table here at all. Put this chair over here. Okay, facing this way and put the TV on the front wall. Okay, and then I can put this right underneath the TV. Okay, so now it becomes a, a stand, not a TV stand, but it, it becomes like a, a chest sitting under the TV thing, a place to put stuff. When you want, every couple days when you want to take a shower, you just take this lid off the top, this wood lid. Okay, kind of make it rustic looking like uh, Old West or something, you know, uh, old barn wood or something like that. You take that lid off, and now you've got an empty trough with a hole drilled in it, draining out onto the ground underneath, okay? And then over here on the wall, either on this wall or on this wall, have a, uh, have a, a, a faucet, probably on the side wall here, put a faucet with a hose, and then hang the hose, you know, up on a hanger, and that becomes your shower. Well, water gets everywhere. Well, shower curtains, put two shower curtains, one around this side, and put another one around this side, and have them overlap tuck them down inside of the uh, wash tub, take your shower, let it drain out. Okay, now you're outside and it's draining out on uh, forest service round or, or BLM lounge. You can't let water drain outside, you know, onto the ground. What you do is you go, before you take your shower, you go outside and right underneath here, you put a five gallon bucket. So when you're taking your shower, two or three gallon water, or shower, two or three gallons of shower, all that water goes into that bucket. When you get down to your shower, you take that water over and you dump, dump it in a stream somewhere. Okay, so or just off and under a bush or whatever uh, later on. So anyway, and both this and the kitchen sink would both drain into that tub outside. That way you don't have a black tank, you don't have a gray tank, you don't have, you've got fresh water tank and that's it. Now the sink, you could probably just put in a bucket underneath the sink and let the sink drain into that, you know, okay. So that way food particles and stuff are here and not out underneath your you know, by the RV or whatever. So anyway, there's that's an idea. And well, where's the toilet at? There's no toilet stand. Now, sure there is. Five gallon bucket. Bucket method. I have no problem doing the bucket method. I, you know, uh, people. I mean, we did the bucket method for centuries <laughs> before we had indoor plumbing. So bucket method is no problem with me. And if you don't know what the bucket method is, go to what, go to Bob Wells' website and he'll explain it all to you. So <clears throat> that's the idea. Oh, 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 uh, overhead storage up here for you know uh, canned goods or dishes and whatever. And then uh, probably put o overhead storage. I didn't put it on here, but probably put overhead storage over here too. Maybe even over here, or maybe yeah, probably not on across the front because that curve is a pain in the butt to deal with. Like I might just leave that open and uh, either put a TV here or put a TV here. And if I put the TV over here, I put maybe a pictures and stuff or a, a cork board. To, uh, or a picture of the United States and show all my travels, that kind of thing, you know, whatever. Um, that's the idea, you know, with, uh, with this. So, uh, enough of that. Oh, I wanted to show you one other thing. This is what I used to dream of. <laughs> You're gonna get a kick out of this. Uh, let's go find it here. This is what I used to dream of with, um, uh, Sorry, 18-wheeler <clears throat> moving van, you know, ro uh, uh, what do you call it, a um, uh, Mayflower or uh, United or Allied van lines or whoever, you know, uh, beacons, 
those big moving companies, well, what you do is you have a semi and then have a 53 foot moving trailer that has the doors on the side and everything. Well, you can put the doors in the side. Here's the big, great big doors. Well, then you just frame that all in and put a regular walk-in door with some steps outside. I didn't make this big enough for tandems. You might have a single axle or even a double axle, you know, and moving trip, okay? You get all the room in the world. Well, what is this right here? Well, that's where I would drive a Jeep up into the back, be a garage. What's this great big box here? That's the water tank right over the axles. That's a water tank. That's one of those big uh, totes, 275 gallon totes. You know, they're four foot by four foot by four foot cube. Basically a set on a pallet. You see those, uh, you know, a lot of chemicals and stuff like that are stored in those totes. But you can buy a brand spanking new tote. You'd have 275 gallons, more water than you'd ever need. This would be an upstairs attic area, which you could put, build a, a ladder against this wall. So when you're inside, you can do, you know, step up into here, like an attic crawl space. That attic crawl space, you can't see it on here because the roof is off. But when you have the roof, you could cut holes in the roof and make like uh, access things. So you wouldn't have to come upstairs on, or on a, stair, a ladder outside to clean your shower, um, solar panels. You could stand right here, open this hatch and stand half of your body out the roof and be able to get to the solar panels and, and clean or maintenance or maintenance or fix them or whatever. Then close the hatch, make it a watertight hatch. But this big attic area is a place to store things like a canoe or uh, kayaks or uh, extra lawn chairs, a barbecue grill that you don't use very often or something, okay? So this was a big dream I had, okay? I really thought this would be a great idea. This is the bathroom, sink, vanity, um, uh, um, what was it? Sink, vanity, toilet, and shower. I think that's what it was. Anyway, if you'll notice, this here steps up. This is the floor of the trailer, and one, two, three, four, four about, about a three and a half foot, four, you know, whatever, up a uh, elevated kitchen. This kitchen and the bathroom are all elevated. Why? Because underneath is where you'd store all your, uh, your batteries, your uh, water pumps, your water, your black water tanks. I you know, probably have a, a black water tank on this. Uh, gray water tank, all that, la da 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 da. Um, if I'd be able to find uh, a sectional or something like that, a big, you know, uh, kitchen, living room sectional type thing, or uh, get the pieces together, or two love seats, you know, whatever, there'd be the, the, the you know, the, the lounge area, um, cabinet to put your VCR and your, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever, your what uh, uh, CDs, all there. Your TV would be up in this box right here. This would be all storage cabinets. And this would be the king size bed with staircase going up above the the uh, the rise where your your drive axles and your fifth wheel and all that is. So the reason that you get this is so that you have the drop comes down and you're only about a foot and a half off the ground instead of three feet or four feet off the ground like a regular semi. That was an idea I had, and I had oh, several different floor plans. This is one floor plan right here, okay. Oh, this is a big air conditioner right here. And the reason I put the air conditioner on the corner up here, it's almost like a reefer. You put that on there and when the air blows, it blows right down this hallway into this room right here. But it's nice and cool in the bedroom, but it could also, you know, do everything. And then you don't really need it all that cold back in the bathroom because you're not there very often. You don't need any air conditioning back here. And this was an idea I had. Why didn't I do it? Got semis. Buy, buy one of these trailers for maybe 10,000 bucks used, an old old uh, moving trailer or something. Why didn't I do it? Insurance. I couldn't find anybody that would insure the damn thing. So, so much for that idea. I mean, I really wanted to do this too and couldn't find anybody that would insure it. So, oh, I just one day I just put it all on uh, the back burner and forgot about it. So basically you'd have a semi, a semi trailer, you'd have a Jeep to ride up in the back and that becomes your around town vehicle. You're going into town, buy groceries, and you just park this thing out in the desert somewhere and park, you know, you're parking at a truck stop, whatever, you know. I've lived in truck stops for 30 years. I don't have any trouble with them. <laughs> anyway, so there's that idea. I had a different floor plan somewhere. Let me see what the other one was. I'll show it to you real quick. Oh, uh, version three, let's see what that one is. Can't remember. Yeah, very similar, you know, uh, got to get the that tool. All right, very similar. Um, I think I was, I measured that out. It's a, a queen size bed. I had a big wardrobe up here, wardrobe here, uh, regular couch, 
going into the, ter the, the entertainment system. Over here is the entertainment system or whatever, you know, uh, um, whatever. Staircase going up into the uh, kitchen, okay. Refrigerator, sink, stove, and all that. This is another, that's the desk. That would be a, a desk for working, you know, have a chair, like just like a regular desk at home and a, a work, uh, work area for the computer and whatnot. And the others, the, the bathroom is very similar, you know. Uh, and then the, the back uh, garage area, which I, which I didn't do on this one, would be very, very similar with the, the attic area. So that was a, you know, that had, I had a couple other plans and everything. But anyway, that's, that is my, oh, let me bring it back to you here live. Um, that is my ideas, ideas that I've had for a long time. I thought of that semi stuff probably 10 to 15 years ago and just b busy working and, and what little bit of time I had to do stuff like that. Uh, I couldn't, um, I couldn't pursue it because I was too busy working all the time. Uh, and it was something that would be down in the future anyway. And I thought, well, before I go and buy a trader and start working on this and spend money on it, I better check into uh, insurances and stuff like that. How could I even register it, uh, you know, uh, as a private vehicle? The registration wasn't a problem. I went down to DMV or not the, 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 the tax office where you get your tags here in Texas. I went down there and uh, um, the gal says, yeah, no problem. As long as it's got a, a sleeping quarters, toiletries, you know, running water toiletries and uh, a cooking area which it had, you know, or would have. It had all that, and she says, yeah, we'll just register it as an RV. You can register it as like a fifth wheel. You know, oh, okay. And then the semi would be a, a toter, you know. Okay, great. Well, I go to look into it, and uh, I called uh, Tipsy Marlin. That was, I, when I met them, I thought, oh, great. You know, we got uh, the, somebody that knows where to get insurance for the, well, I called their insurance that they're through. I can't remember, it's not the general, but it's like, I can't remember the name of it. It was General something or other. General, Mass General, or I can't remember. Anyway, whatever company. I called there, that insurance company, and they said, yeah, we'll, we'll insure a semi as long as it's pulling a factory-built fifth wheel. Well, I'm going to build my own, you know, semi version of that. And they go, no, we won't. A semi with a factory-built fifth wheel. But if it's a, uh, a, a homemade vehicle, we won't insure it unless it's a school bus. Okay, so that's why I kind of got into school buses. Well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, still like the idea of the school bus. Still really, really like the idea of a school bus. But I don't... There's my hammer. I've been looking for that. <laughs> what happens when you set tools down in the wrong spot? Yeah. Anyway, um, um, what was I talking about? The... Uh, um, Anyway, the insurance, I, I, something I wanted, oh, the school bus. Um, it was something I wanted to do for, I've, I've wanted to do ever since I met Rick out there in the Bluebird. And um, the thing of a school bus, by the, if you buy a school bus that's cheap enough, they got 200,000 miles on the damn thing and they're wore out and rusted and you know, whatever and need an overhaul and all this kind of stuff. Uh, by the time, you, if you go find a bus that has low mileage, the price is way up, $20,000 or so. I actually found a couple of really nice buses, but they were 20,000 bucks and I didn't want to spend that much money. And the reason I'm doing the trader is because I already own this damn thing. So I thought, you know, let's do it budget. Let's do a, a cheap budget build. And the next video, I'll show you the inside, which side design, side, uh, design I decided to go with. Do I, ah, bad, bad lighting. Sorry about the lighting. Um, did I go with the flat? wall across the back or did I go with the motorcycle type so that's the next video you got yeah, I gotta leave you hanging there <laughs>